there, this is Linda and I'm back with another Project Life process video. So for this one, I have my photos printed. I still need to crop these out. And then I am working with the Studio Calico June kit. So this is the week of June 6th through 12th in 2022. And this is the June kit from Studio Calico for 2022. So I typically use the, I have been using the Studio Calico kits for the first week of the month. And the first week of this month, this is the first full week of the month of June. Um, the last week before this was May 30th through June 5th. Normally I would have done it for that week, but I wanted to use the currently story kit and I have a video for that on my YouTube if you missed that one or were interested in seeing it. So I just decided to move this kit to this week and it doesn't really matter. Um, these kits are super fun. There's a lot to play with in here, but the first thing I need to do is crop out my photos and lay them out because then I know how many pockets I need cards for. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and do that. Look through the kit, see what I like, what I want to use for this spread and go from there. Okay. So this one actually is pretty quick. It just comes together really easily. I think a lot of that comes from when I'm using a kit. Um, the Studio Calico kits have so many different pieces in them. I tend to not even reach for my stash at all, and it just brings the spread together quickly. This one also had a lot of photos, um, so I think that also makes it more um, come together more quickly. So if you saw there when I was cropping that 4 by 6 photo, I accidentally just cut it wrong and cut off that strip of photo, and I didn't want to reprint, so I'm just using a piece of washi tape to line it up, and it ends up working perfectly fine. I think you, like, if you look closely, you can see it, but with it on the page, you can't really tell when it's in the pocket. So I had a lot of photos this week. Um, we had a um, block party, so I have all those photos on the right-hand side are from that, and then I went to a happy hour and then just a few other little stories this week. Um, so actually, I mean, I had a lot of three by four photos, but I didn't have a lot of four by six photos. So I have two extra four by six pockets. Well, three really, but one of them I decided to put a three by four photo in um, because I really tend to only like two three by four pockets per page in the middle so that I have room for journaling cards. Um, and this kit had that little taco truck card, which was just perfect because there was a taco truck at the, um, block party. So I knew I was going to use that paired with that photo of my daughter sitting on the ground and us eating our tacos from the taco truck. I decided to go through my stash to pull out some four by six cards to fill these extra pockets because the Studio Caligo kits come with a ton of three by four cards, but not very many four by six cards. And so I have a stash of quote cards specifically. So when I have some extra space like that, one of the things I like to do is just go through my stash and pick some quotes that just kind of resonate with me at this point in time. So that's what I went with. And also I picked ones that match the colors of this kit so that it would coordinate. So I am adding some alpha stickers here that say block party across the top. And that also is kind of covering up where I cut the photo off. Um, I don't love how they are on the photo. It doesn't pop as much as I wish it had. Um, I tend to like to ground something like that with um, backing, either like some washi tape would have looked nice or some vellum, but you know, I already stuck them down. So I guess I thought that they were going to be brighter than they were. Um, but I'm happy with it. Once I added that chipboard piece, I think that that helped a little bit. And then those two, three by four cards that are going in the four by six pocket there, I backed them just with some scrap paper so that they won't fall around in the pocket. Um, the kit came with these die cut pieces. So I had pulled them out to see if they would fit on the spread, but I decided not to use them. And instead I picked some of the chipboard pieces and then now I'm putting together my title card. So every time that I'm using the Studio Calico kit for the first week of the month, I am using the Wood Veneer month as my title on one of the 4x6 cards. So that's what I put up there. And then I took this card that said R&R &R on it and punched it out with a one and a half inch punch, I think that is, or maybe it's a two inch punch, so that it will fit on that photo as an embellishment. These kits come with so many cards that I like to use a lot of them as embellishments. Um, then I wanted to journal about the happy hour I went to 
because I used these alphas to put a title on another card, I wanted to use them again as a title on this card um, because I like to repeat an element at least twice on a spread. I think it makes it more cohesive, if possible, of course. Um, so I decided to do that for my title, and I do really like how that turned out on that um, blue card there. This one said, soak up the sun, and I decided to crop it out and use it to embellish this photo of me and my friend because we're wearing sunglasses, um, and I thought it was a really cute card. Now I'm pulling over all my journaling cards and my sticky note with all of my notes about the week, and I'm starting one by one to do my journaling. So this card I'm going to journal about the block party itself. Um, for a week like this, or pretty common most weeks, I like to have a few journal cards that talk about specific events. So that's what this one is going to be. And then the one that says happy hour, of course, is going to be about the happy hour event. And then the final journal card there I'm going to use to create a bullet list of some of the stories from this week that I wanted to make note of. This actually was a fairly busy week. Um, I had a lot I think actually, no, this actually wasn't a very busy week. Sorry. Um, so I didn't have a ton of stories, but there were still a few things. You can see my sticky note there isn't very long. Sometimes it goes onto the back. Um, but I did have a few things to make note of. So I'm doing that here. I'm using a zig dot marker to make some bullet points. My favorite one is the gray color, but because this is such a bright, colorful spread, I thought this one would be a fun pop of color to coordinate. Um, especially because that title card has those dots on it. So I thought it would kind of um, mimic that polka dot pattern and bring it over to this side. And uh, this spread has so many fun pops of color. It's such a summery spread. And I really love how it's coming together with all of those colors and um, all of the quote cards and words, even though I didn't actually have that much to journal about. Um, or, you know, a ton of four by six photos to fill the pockets. So now um, I'm calling the spread done. Like I said, it was very simple. It just came together pretty easily. So I'm slipping everything into the pockets and just making sure things fit. That one there, because I had adhered that um, strip of photo with washi, it was a little flimsy, but once it's in the pocket, I feel like it's going to be good to stay how it is. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and, you know, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm really happy to share these spreads with you. I'm almost caught up for the year, so hopefully I'll have a couple coming soon and I will be caught up in sharing these weekly. Thanks. Bye.